Removing the fu fuel rail on a 2.2 Ecotec GM motor. What you want to do is the incoming fuel line. There is a bracket on the transmission side that is um, there's a stud sticking out. Remove the nut. That's the side support for the fuel line, the incoming fuel line. And you have a big nut here. You want to loosen it up. Then you're going to have a radiator hose. The return fuel line. No, sorry, that's not the return fuel line. That's coming from. That's antifreeze going through there. So you remove this line so you can have the room to lift this incoming fuel line out of the way. In my case, completely out of the way. And then you have this other radiator hose that you removed, and you have the line to it. And you have these two little clips here. They simply just press onto it, so you just simply lift up and you free this portion. The radiator hose is some tight, and you move that out of the way. And in my case, again, completely out of the way. And then you have some wiring. You want to move it out of the way. Some tubes and vacuum lines and whatnot. And then here you have your rail. You're going to have a bolt here and a bolt over here remove them and then your rail becomes loose and then afterwards it's just a matter of simply applying pressure an even type of pressure and removing the whole entire rail system there we have it, it's loose now this out of place and now you're going to have a wire on each injector here you're going to want to remove these connectors and there's your fuel rail removed. An installation would be a reverse process and would require a real good thorough inspection of the rubber grommets here that slide into the holes that seal everything up. And if they appear to be war, or if it can be afforded, just simply replace them with new ones. And any type of O-ring that may be on here, replace them with new ones. This way you when you reinstall it, you can be assured you're going to have a good seal and uh, no leakage whatsoever. You do not want leakage. It can just create problems, idling and etc, etc, etc. You just don't want it. Okay folks, the removal fuel rail system, the injection system. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you would. And if you already have, thank you.